Hey everybody, my name is Kyle and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. To be honest, I really thought we'd be done talking about Paul McCartney's recent pair of albums by now. After all, McCartney 3 came out back in December, and the companion covers and remix collection McCartney 3 Imagined dropped digitally back in April. The former was pretty great, while the latter was pretty... eh. For whatever reason, the physical release of 3 Imagined was scheduled three months after the digital version. I thought that was a pretty risky choice, since by this time anyone who might have wanted to hear the music would have had ample opportunities to stream it and perhaps no longer be interested in owning a physical copy. For McCartney's sake, I hope that's not the case, because McCartney 3 Imagined was seemingly everywhere I went over the weekend. Granted, that was a handful of record stores and bookstores, but pretty much every one of them had this album on display front and center. But, of course, there are probably millions of fans like me that are likely to buy pretty much any Paul McCartney release regardless in order to keep their collections complete. And in this case, Paul sweetened the pot by holding back one bonus track that would only be available on the vinyl or CD editions. As much as I appreciate this nod to those of us who still buy physical media, I still recognize how Paul has evolved into as much of a marketer as a musician. As usual, there are multiple versions of McCartney 3 Imagined available in varying color combinations, giving diehard fans ample opportunities to empty their wallets. For my collection, I went for the basic CD as opposed to the limited edition with the rainbow colored die on the cover. By the way, stick around at the end of this video for a short unboxing of the album so you can see exactly what you get if you buy a physical copy. Speaking of which, if you're asking the question, is it worth buying a physical copy of the album for the sake of getting the exclusive bonus track, the answer is unquestionably no. The better question would be, is it worth buying a physical copy of McCartney 3 Imagined? at all, and does the exclusive track do anything to tip the scale in one direction or another? The answer to that question is... maybe. When I reviewed this collection back in April, I talked about how it was very much a mixed bag with only a few tracks emerging as standouts. Between the remixes and the remakes, I was surprised by the fact that only Dominic Fike's Kiss of Venus was a worthy cover. While the remixes I expected to be cringeworthy actually worked more often than I anticipated, with St. Vincent's Women and Wives being my favorite. With the physical release of the album, we now have one more so-called remix, and that's Long-Tailed Winter Bird from Idris Elba. Yes, you heard right. Acclaimed actor and 2018 People magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, Idris Elba. Turns out this big and small screen heartthrob also moonlights as a DJ and musician, and it's those skills he's brought to bear on the new McCartney project. Although billed as a remix, Elba's take on Long-Tailed Winter Bird is actually more of a hybrid, a uh, remix slash remake. In fact, I think it's fair to say you'll scarcely find traces of the original track here. In Elba's hands, we get a complete reinvention of the song. If anything, Winter Bird feels more like it's merely been sampled rather than remixed. To a certain extent, I do appreciate the metamorphosis. This new version of the song takes on a strong reggae vibe, with Elba rapping on the verses and McCartney singing new lyrics on the chorus. And by the way, for a song that didn't have verses or a chorus originally, that's a pretty big change, right? It's a bold take, to be sure, so kudos to Elba for that. Still, as songs go, I don't love this. And that's saying something, because McCartney's original version was perhaps my favorite song on the original album. I'm also surprised how strongly the melody of the bass line resembles Nancy Sinatra's These Boots Are Made For Walking, something that didn't jump out at me originally, but extracted in this version, it becomes a little distracting. In the end, I suppose I'd give this exclusive track a mild thumbs up for taking chances and creating something original. Does it redeem the album as a whole? No, I'd still stand by my original rating. You can watch my full review for my thoughts on the rest of the tracks, which is linked in the description below. Speaking of redemption, though, I do want to make mention of the new music video that just came out for Beck's remix of Find My Way. For someone as unpredictable as Beck, I found this remix to be a pretty big letdown. There's nothing about it that feels particularly original, and I have to wonder why he didn't just do a remake instead. 
But then there's the brand new music video in which deep fake technology is used to transform Beck into a young mop-topped McCartney singing, dancing, and strutting his way through a psychedelic tesseract in one of the trippiest clips I've seen in a long time. Some have called it creepy. And while I don't disagree, I have to say that isn't that par for the course when it comes to deep fakes? I couldn't take my eyes off the thing. And to a very real extent, no pun intended, the video actually elevates what I originally found to be an otherwise mundane remix. Definitely check that out. But right now, let's check out an unboxing of McCartney 3 Imagined by Paul McCartney and friends. All right, so here we have the standard CD version of McCartney 3 Imagined. As you see from the sticker on the wrapper, this is billed as an album of McCartney 3 songs reimagined by fellow artists and friends personally curated by Paul, featuring Beck, Phoebe Bridgers, Damon Albarn, St. Vincent, and more. Now, earlier I noted there was also a limited edition version available on McCartney's website with an alternate cover. Here's what that looks like. I passed on that for two reasons. One is it comes in just an LP-style mini jacket, which didn't seem as nice as a sturdy gatefold jacket. And the second is I thought the standard cover was more original. The limited edition features the same realistic-style dye as last year's McCartney 3 album, just with a rainbow swirl instead of the white or solid color. To me, this standard cover featuring the black and white sketchbook style art is more unique and more in the spirit of the music being reimagined. So here's the unwrapped front cover and the spine and the back cover. Here's a look inside the gatefold. We've got Paul on a horse, and dice with everyone's names in a sort of clock arrangement, which really only makes sense now that the physical album is expanded to 12 tracks instead of the 11 of the digital version. Here's a look at the CD, which looks just like McCartney 3, only this is black on white instead of white on black. And finally, here's the mini double-sided poster style insert, which folds out to show these Polaroid style images to represent each of the artists that contributed to the album. And on the back side are all the album credits. It's interesting to note that every track says written and composed by Paul McCartney, but only the Damon Albarn version of Long-Tailed Winter Bird has a secondary credit. New arrangement by Damon Albarn. Not sure why that is. Also, the fact that there's no additional writing credit on the Idris Elba track makes me wonder if Paul wrote all the new lyrics, including the rap. So there you go, McCartney 3 Imagined by Paul McCartney and Friends. If you'd like to add a copy of this to your music collection, be sure to look for Amazon links to both the vinyl and CD editions in the description below. And with that, let's hope we are finally done with the McCartney 3 hype cycle. I don't know about you, but I'm more than ready to move on to the next big thing in Paul's musical multiverse. And if we're placing bets, I'm thinking that will be the long overdue announcement of a super deluxe edition of The Beatles' Let It Be, which I predict will drop on Black Friday, November 26th. Start saving your allowance now. This one will be pricey, but so, so worth it. Once again, my name's Kyle, and this has been Track by Track. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Plus, check out some of these other videos below that I think you might also enjoy. And of course, be sure to subscribe, because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.